Hi, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. And this week has been a super busy life for me. Uh, I've been working 12s, seven days a week. Uh, the person that I'm talking to at the moment, if you follow the channel, you know there's something going on in the background. And if you follow me on like Instagram and Facebook, you probably definitely know what's going on. But for the actual topic of this video, uh, we're going to talk about trying to work fitness around that busy life. I mean, that's what this channel's about, right? And the other thing is I've been sick for a week, and I'm never sick for an entire week. Like, this is just ridiculously crazy how I've been sick for so long. Uh, I generally get, like, bedridden when I'm sick for, like, one day, and I can... Maybe the day before, I kind of feel it cup creeping on. The next day, I feel like crap. And the next day, I'm still not the best, but I'm already feeling better. So at most, like three days. Well, I've been sick for like an entire week. Now my throat's sore. I've almost lost my uh, my voice and everything. And it's just like keeps on dragging out, and it's been a week now. So not only have I been working 12s, like seven days a week, and been doing it for multiple weeks now, I've also been sick on top of that. So, have I been working out? Should you work out? What are the, what are these questions that that you would you guys would ask me? Uh, and if you have any tips that go along with this type of matter, put it down in the comments below. Help out the community because there's a lot of people out there that could really utilize this help. And there's a lot of tips. There's a lot of tips that I could probably take away from you guys that you do whenever you're sick or whatnot. Uh, but I want to help those people who are just really trying to get into this thing and they just need some tips to like push forward and, and to keep moving. And the first thing I want to go ahead and say to you guys, and I've said it before, is just don't quit. Just keep going. Like even if you're off for a week, a lot of times like being sick and going through this work process, you might quit working out for the week. Or like for me, I know that I'm going to be working this type of 12-hour shift thing for about three months. And uh, i got a project at work that i got to get done, uh, automation engineer. So this project, I'm going to be having to grind out with, uh, we have acceptance testing and we have to do the actual factory install. So like I said, for the next three months, I'm just going to be busy AF and I have the choice to either just say, okay, well, I'm going to quit working out for three months and then I'll jump back on the horse whenever I get back at, whenever I get back to my normal schedule. Well, there's a couple issues with that. Uh, one, that might be the time that I fall off and never get back into it even kind of a prerequisite to that is whenever you're done with like say for instance the schedule that I know that I'm about to have to work when I get done with that my schedule may not settle down I just know for a fact that I'm gonna be having to work 12 for like three months uh, past that there is still unknown even though I know I'm gonna be done with this project and I'm not gonna uh, I don't knowingly have anything else going on I don't know what's gonna happen after that and I definitely don't want to uh, procrastinate my fitness, lose out on three months worth of gains. I think that's another tip right there. Who wants to lose out on three months worth of gains, especially right now when it's bulking season, it's time to get big, time to put some muscle on. Uh, and, and I've made significant progress over the, this course of this bulking season. I put on about 15 pounds, and it's a, a very small amount of it is actually from fat. So I'm feeling super stoked about it. My body composition really hasn't dropped a whole heck of a lot. Uh, it's, it's just kind of maintained with the same body fat percentage, but my weight has just climbed up ridiculously. Uh, so I'm super happy about that. But going back into, like, with me being sick and all these hours that I'm working, uh, I've not really made the progress that I'd like to make. And, I, and it knowingly... Being that I know that, I have actually done things in my life to try to uh, make sure that I'm not putting on like extra fat. I've kind of just toned things back. I'm like, okay, well, I haven't worked out in like four days, uh, and, and that's just the honest truth. Like sometimes, like things just get pushed back so far, and you just got to do what you got to do. And one of the things that I've done to kind of tone back is I've just been watching my calories a little bit more. And I haven't been necessarily too worried about getting in so much protein, so I've been kind of toning back on my protein, let my body get a little bit of uh, recovery, kind of like a fast, but not necessarily a fast, just where I'm cutting back on my protein a little bit. So instead of consuming the 150 to 200 grams of protein, I'm only consuming like 100 I'm only consuming like 100 grams of protein, maybe maybe 120. I just basically toned it down. I'm not even really counting my protein. I just try to keep it somewhat high, definitely well above like 75 grams. But uh, then whenever I have a, a workout session that I, then when I have a workout session, I go ahead and boost my protein levels up for like the next uh, day or so. And even that day, if I know for sure I'm going to be able to make it to the gym, then what I'll end up doing is I'll ha I'll boost my protein up before my workout as well. That way my, my blood already has a lot of protein in it. And then uh, those proteins are able to immediately start going to muscle gain instead of being in a complete depletion where I don't have 
any protein really to utilize for muscle gain. And I also cut down on my calories a little bit whenever I'm not eating. Now, my work has been providing lunches, which has made it a little bit difficult because we've been eating a lot of foods that I don't even know how to track. Uh, I've been eating some Filipino foods, and it's just hard for me to track them because I just don't know. I don't eat those type of foods. And that's one of the things that makes intuitive eating so easy is eating the same things over and over. Uh, am I going to get on topic and talk about this video? Man, I got so many ideas and tips and things like that. We're going to go ahead and dive into the side of things of just working. We're not even talking about being sick right now. We're going to just talk about if you're working a lot of hours and you're still trying to make it to the gym. We'll talk about being sick here in a second. So if you're working a lot of hours, you can utilize something that I utilize if you have the luxury. Now, this tip is not going to be very helpful for a lot of people because a lot of people don't have this luxury. But I have the luxury of kind of adjusting my schedule and I can go in when I want, leave when I want. Uh, they're, you know, they're expecting me to get my work done and they're expecting me to put in a certain amount of hours, but I can flex that around where I can go in a little bit later or leave a little bit earlier and just compensate them hours somewhere else. Uh, so I, I'm able to do stuff like today where I'm shooting this video, I'm working out, I'm able to actually go in, like I'm going in probably like an hour, two hours later than what I'd normally go in. Uh, and like I said, that's a luxury that a lot of people don't have, but it's, it's a great one for me because like. I was supposed to wake up at like 3 in the morning. I overslept. I didn't even hear the alarm at all. And then I woke up like 5.30 in the morning. And by the time I woke up and got going, just it's just things were just not on point. I was going to work out last night when I got home, but it's like sit on the couch. Like That should be a tip right there. Just don't sit on the couch if you're going to plan on working out in the evening. Come home, change your clothes, take a shower, and just roll out. Don't even... Don't even try to uh, relax for a little bit. Relax after you're done with your workout because, like, it's just not going to work. Anytime you sit down, the likelihood of you getting back up, unless you just consume, like, all kinds of uh, caffeine and pre-workout and everything and you're just going to be tweaking, the, I don't suggest that you sit down. And even at that point, like, whenever you're working 12 and you're dog tired and been doing it week after week, a lot of times energy supplements don't help, especially if you're using energy supplements for work. Uh, and so that brings me to another tip. A lot of these tips like, I just forget about, and I don't even really write them down, but like I quit doing most of my caffeine at work, and I did that so that way I can utilize them as more of a boost when I get home from work. Uh, and that's been very, very helpful because like I got to a point where I was really caffeine dependent. I was taking uh, a couple hydroxy cuts before I went to work. I was taking a couple when I got off from work, and I was just over way overly caffeinated and I was numb to the caffeine and basically if I didn't take caffeine I'd be falling asleep walking that's how bad it got so by uh by utilizing your caffeine and stuff when you're about to work out it just makes you more sensitive during those times so that way caffeine will actually have an effect on you and you won't just fall asleep on the couch whenever you consume that stuff now like I said after working all those hours for as long as the uh for that long for that many weeks in a row and stuff you just get dog tired and, and a lot of times nothing can help the only thing that really helps is willpower uh so you know definitely got to do stuff like make sure you you pack a bag whenever you're going to work and go directly to the gym don't even worry about going home like you gotta you gotta find out what the problem is on why you can't make it to the gym uh and so if you're having an issue with going home and and just sitting on the couch and just saying screw it and you've done that day after day then you know that's the problem you know you got to fix it if you tell yourself you're gonna wake up in the morning you don't wake up on time you got to do what it takes like a lot of times i work out in the nights and i hate working out in the nights because my volume is almost always way down uh I just don't have the energy to keep pushing through, keep pushing through, and get in that hour, two-hour workout, or however long it is that I feel comfortable with to, to make progress. And the reason why I even say that is because like a lot of times I choose to work out in the evenings because I have an issue with waking up in the morning, or like I can't go into work early because like I have too much pressure on me at work and too many people are relying on me being there. So it's... So a lot of times I have to do the I have to do those evening workouts and I like I said I just hate them because uh, like no matter how much pre workout I take how much caffeine I take I just don't have the energy as I normally do I can go in there I can bang out some solid sets but generally the workouts don't last near as long I don't get near as much volume in, I don't get near as many sets in uh, I'm not lifting near as much weight as I could potentially lift it's just overall the workouts are kind of just blah you know and I'm one of those people like I like to hit hour-long workouts like a minimum workout for me is like 45 minutes like bare minimum I like my workouts to be anywhere from like an hour to hour and 45 minutes and uh, it kind of depends on the type of lifting style that I'm lifting that day but I just like to make sure I hit things and hit hit things thoroughly 
Another thing that's nice is to keep in mind that like you're gonna you're gonna put this thing on autopilot essentially. And and I I made a video about putting fitness on autopilot before, and I made it around a time like this where I'm working uh, long hours, and it's so important because. By putting fitness on autopilot, you just do. Sometimes you just do the bare minimum. Like that's the thing is like don't don't beat yourself up so much about like not getting enough volume that you just don't work out at all. Because I promise to God, if you work out 30 minutes, you're going to make way more progress than if you don't work out at all. Uh, you can actually over the course of that like that three months that I got to work, I will see progress. Like even with these little baby workouts and whatnot. And, and I have noticed, like, you know, I'm adding more fluff on than what I'd like over the course of this past week or two. Like, I've been really watching closely, and, like, I'm not liking that. Uh, I think I'm definitely still making some gains, but the ratio of gains to fat, I, I'm not really liking that. But I'm still able to make it to the gym, and there's other things to contemplate. I'm still making it to the gym, still making progress, and at the end of this three months, I'll be happy with my results because it'll be like I went to sleep, I woke up, and I had these gains because of working all these hours. It's pretty much like you work, sleep, work, sleep, and like week after week just keeps passing by, and then you just wake up. Uh, so I definitely – and there's a, another thing that you might want to you, you know think about is like if you just absolutely cannot make it to the gym, maybe even though it's bulking season – Maybe go into a cut. If you have some extra fat that you can lose, like, it's a good time to do it because that's diet. Like, the only thing you got to really do with that is just watch what you're eating. You got to just lower your calories, get in, be in a caloric deficit, and pack your own lunches. Like, if you're already doing this, go to work, you know, wake up, go to work, go to sleep type of thing, eat. Uh, you know, all you got to do is do a little bit of meal prep on, like, a Sunday or something like that, and boom. You have all your meals for the week, or if you can afford it, just go get like even if you have to eat at McDonald's, get like McDonald's chicken salads, and like that's all you eat for like the whole course of that month or three months or whatever. And after that three months, dude, you're probably gonna be shredded. So you know sometimes this is a good time to do that. Uh, and I'm really, I, it's crossing my mind. And I really want to, but there's two things that are holding me back from doing that. And that's one, it's gaining season, so it's time to keep your shirt off. Time to keep your shirt on. It's not really pertinent that you're shredded or whatnot. Like, I don't really care to be super shredded during the winter time. I'd like to be shredded all the time, but I'm not as concerned about it as I'm going to be whenever it's, like, summertime and I'm, like, walking around with a shirt off or I'm at the swimming pool or whatever it may be. Uh, so that's the reason why I don't want to lose out on this bulking process. Even if it's not as good of results as I'd like to see, I would still rather make progress and – and not affect this bulk in a negative way or just not make any gains whatsoever because I decide to cut. Uh, and I could cut and still work out and pro probably maintain and whatnot, and that may not be a bad idea because then that will make my cutting even easier. But uh, And I could maybe stretch my bulk out a month or so longer because of making this little in-the-middle cut here. And that that's kind of, that's came across my mind. The other big factor that's kind of uh, messing with things is – Company keeps buying lunches for everybody. Uh, they're supplying lunch because everybody's putting in hella hours. We're all working like 80 hours plus a week. So being that they're paying for our lunches and everything, uh, it is very – it's very difficult to pass up a free lunch. Like, let's just be honest. And uh, on top of that, I like the type of food. It's different. I've always liked – types of foods like oriental foods and whatnot and this is like like i said filipino food so i just really I, I get into that i like those type of foods and stuff i like trying things that are different and because i can't track the calories it puts that stigma in my head like i, I can't really make uh good progress because i really like to know at least close to what i'm consuming or else like i could just like intermittent fast eat that and then eat something at the end of the day and still i can still make results i know i can intuitively do it and still make results but you know, I just want to make sure that I'm keeping my protein levels up higher. I want to. I just want to make sure I'm staying on top of my overall fitness regimen because I want this to be like my best transformation so far. Like I want my like two years, six months transformation to be super epic. Maybe like two month, two years, nine months. Like I just want it to be the best results that I've made throughout my whole entire fitness uh, journey. And if I don't do it now, I'm gonna get to the point where I, I'm too. I'm such an advanced lifter that. I'm, my, my progress is going to be so slow, like my muscle gain progress is just going to be slow and that's going to, that's really going to cut back on my ability to be able to do an epic transformation. Now I can still do an epic transformation of, you know, from last year to the next year or something like that, 
But I want something that's super epic. And like I said, this bulk has been the best bulk I've ever done. This cut that I do this next coming up season, I want it to be the best cut that I've ever done. I basically want to be right around May, like have the best physique I've ever had in my life. And that's that's like a really big goal for me because like I want to put on like kind of like a year transformation. Like my my transformations like of my fitness journey, my fitness, like my fitness years, I should say, uh, they're actually very screwed up and like they never look good because – uh, I'm always like right in the middle of like a bulking process or whatever like I don't know so my my fitness anniversary is uh, September 11th so that's just kind of a it, it's a weird month you know it's a weird month like you you just came out of a cut a couple months ago now you're starting to put on weight so you're not shredded as, as shredded but like you still haven't really made much progress you're still kind of catching up and remaking gains that you lost during your cut so there's a lot of uh it's just it's it's a weird place i did kind of find that i liked it this past season but i just it's a weird place you just gotta whenever it comes to you know trying to work out whenever you have a busy schedule you just gotta work around things you know you just gotta use be creative that's that's the big thing is be creative like and i make these videos for so that way you can maybe come up with an idea that you would not have thought about on your own and uh, that that's really important to me because like it's little things that I've learned on my journey that have helped me stay consistent with things and helped me made pro help me make progress and whatnot. Uh, and you just got to utilize stuff like if you have a gym in your work or if you have a gym like a block like right across the street from your work. Maybe you just skip over there at lunchtime and like you just eat a couple protein bars and like eat a number of protein bars while you're at work all day and just go bang out a freaking workout over there on your lunch break uh, at the gym and then hurry up and bounce back to work like sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and it may not be the most optimal but like if you're just trying to put on the weight if you're just trying to put on the gains then you just got to do what you got to do you know we're gonna talk about being sick and going to the gym uh now i here's my here's the e simple and easy answer for it if you feel like crap don't go to the gym like if you just feel like dog sick like all you want to do is lay on the couch and sleep for 24 hours straight that's what you need to do. Uh, your body's telling you that for a reason. Uh, going to the gym and tearing down your muscles and giving your body something else to do when it's already trying to deal with this sickness, it's not really the thing that you want to do. You just you just want to take it easy and kind of relax. Now, I'm not going to tell somebody just don't go to the gym. Like, definitely, like, how I feel right now, my voice is messed up. My, You know, <coughs> I'm coughing like crazy. I can hardly breathe. Uh I'm still gonna go to the gym like this. I'm still working out like this. You know, I'm hitting the strength session today. Now the strength session may not be that great, but I'm gonna get in the volume. That way, I'm still making slow progress or making good progress, maybe even. You don't necessarily have to have super high intensity if you just go with a lot of volume. Uh, you can kind of balance those two things out and swap them around. Uh, and and that's kind of something I would suggest whenever you're sick or if you're working a lot of hours or whatever you just just take things easier and 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 don't worry about put exerting the best workout you can but maybe make it longer if potentially possible like maybe take it more relaxed and just get in a lot of sets get in a lot of volume because you might feel super drained uh and just not want to do uh, any heavy weights or maybe you just don't want to feel the super uh the maybe you don't want to feel the burn from the going deep into your fatigue state during a lift uh, so you definitely definitely need to make sure that you're doing whatever works for you and, and, and you're modifying your workouts to make sure that you're able to stay consistent with them and uh, you don't want to go to the gym and just and just be like okay man I'm hitting 250 pounds today and you do a set of 250 and you're like this I'm gone I'm not I can't lift this much weight today I'm out of here uh, I just, and a lot of times you just want to feel it like today like I generally hit triples for my workout sessions, but I can tell you right now, today is not a triples day. And a lot of times I'll hit singles. Today is not a singles day. Uh, I'm going to be hitting those quads. Quads four. Okay, whatever a five Z is. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be hitting five reps. Uh, basically doing like some five by five or something like that or, or not. Yeah, I guess not. I'm just going to hit five reps of bench press and pull-ups and, and, and rack pulls. Oh, sh I wasn't supposed to tell you guys that. So, yeah, that's kind of been one of the exercises that I've been doing in my strength routine that I haven't been really showing you guys. It's kind of been a behind-the-scenes thing. Uh, and I made ridiculous progress with super minimal amount of effort.
Okay, okay, okay. We'll have to do like a trap transformation video at some point in time because this this is about to be epic. Like I said, I've been putting in hardly any effort, truly. Like I've been hitting like five sets, and that's about it. Like super minimal, super, super minimal. Uh, I'm not doing nothing but rack pulls. I'm doing shrugs, really nothing. It's just like that's why it's so uh, amazing results. It's not that I've made like ridiculous uh, trap gains, which I have kind of, but it's more so the fact that the lack of effort that I put into it to actually obtain them. In the course of this entire week, I've worked out once. This is my second session, so I've worked out twice in a week. Uh, it's definitely way under what I like to hit. I generally like to work out at bare minimum every other day, so you know, roughly about three to four times a week at least. Uh, so twice is definitely just like way under three. Three is what I consider like my minimum, you know. And I really like to hit four, maybe even five sessions a week. And that's just because I have a busy lifestyle. It's hard for me to make it to the gym every single day. If I could, I would, uh, and I and I push to do so. But sometimes other things are more important to me, like. You know, making sure I get these uh, videos out, making sure that I spend time with my kids. Like, I, I, the way I structure things, I structure things as a must. Uh, and, and I'll be honest, fitness is like my number one thing right now because I don't ever want to give up on it. I make it my must. It comes before pretty much anything. Uh, and, and I do that for myself. That way I'm happy with myself. And that way I just feel good. You know, I, if you're not happy with yourself, you're not going to be happy for anybody else. You're not going to please anybody else or, or anything. You know, another big thing that is doing this YouTube stuff. I want to do this for you guys and just be able to give you all the content. And on top of that, I put in so much work already. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be losing out on, on, on the momentum of the channel, which is like YouTube's beating the shit out of me anyway. But uh, I don't want to lose out on that momentum. I want to be able to keep going with you guys and uh, and keep putting out videos. So I have that structure where I'm going back and forth and I'm, and I'm doing my best to put out content for you guys and stay on top of my fitness. Uh, so, you know, just make it, make it easy for yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it. Just make sure you're staying on top of your journey. Just make sure that you're doing what works for you. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing. Uh, that's really what it's all about is doing what, what works for you. With the whole entire fitness thing, like everything about fitness, that's how you choose your fit pro fitness program, that's how you choose what you eat, that's how you choose like how often you work out. I mean, your whole structure of everything you do with fitness, your life, is just do what works for you. You don't have to do the most premium. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. So, yeah, if you're sick, get back in the gym when you can. That's all I can say, man. That's all I can say. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's loaded full of good content for you guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.